Hey, everyone, and welcome to Chef AJ Live. I'm your host, Chef AJ, and this is where I introduce you to amazing people like you who are doing great things in the world that I think you should know about. Well, today we are going to talk about how to make the best chopped salad ever with Corey Geyer of the Holland Bowl Mill. He has the most beautiful products. I'm going to show you all the products I have, and he's going to show you even more. He's going to offer you a tremendous discount, but even if you don't want to get one, you'll learn something about why it's great to use these products and you never know because there might be a special occasion coming up, a wedding, a bar mitzvah, an anniversary, a birthday, where you might want to remember this because they personalize everything for free. It's the coolest gift. Anyway, please welcome Corey to the show. It's nice to see you again. Yes. Hi, Chef AJ. Thank you so much for having me. I'm excited to talk with you and all your followers and fill them in a little bit what's going on at Allen Bull Mill. Wow. You have a lot of product behind you, Corey. I do. Yeah. So I'm out in the mill where we kind of uh, make all of our products. And then um, I'd be more than happy to kind of give everyone a rundown, a little bit of the history of our company, how we started, if you would like. I would love to. We can do that or we can show some of the products first. Either way, I've got a bunch of stuff to show here, but you, you're in the factory. So why don't you give us a tour? Okay. Yeah, definitely. So the company was started in 1906. Um, I'm actually a fourth generation owner. We make on a given week around 800 to 1,000 wooden bowls. Our products are carried in around 350 stores across the United States. So we start with large trees. So say um, someone lived in, locally in the Holland area and they had a cherry tree come down on their property, they would probably call a local tree service. There's a good chance we work with that tree service and then the tree would end up here at the mill. And um, we utilize every single part of the tree. Uh, if it can't be made into wooden bowls, it's made into cutting boards, utensils, uh, trees, rolling pins, charcuterie boards, shavings. We donate to local horse farms. Excess wood that we can't utilize is sold for firewood. So sustainability is very, very important to us. And um, yeah, we're very proud that we are a zero waste company. That's fantastic. So did you always, when, I don't know what you call your profession, but is this what you wanted to be when you grew up? Um, I mean, I grew up around the company my whole life, you know, middle school, high school, college, working summers, you know, being around the company. I have four uh, older brothers and sisters. They kind of went their own route after school. So I was the last one remaining. So I was like, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll give it a shot. So after college, I came on board and then just fell in love with our product, the company, the people who work for us. And I've been so blessed. It's, it's so much fun. Is everything in your house your product? We do have a lot of HBM product. Yes. I don't let my wife come into the showroom anymore. We don't, we don't need any more HBM product in our house. That's funny. So whenever you have to, when you personally have to give a gift, is that what you give? Yes. Yeah. Every time. Yep. Yeah. Well, let's talk about that for a, a bit. L let me show my products from smaller to large because one of my favorite things and why I love to give your products as gifts, especially wedding gifts, is you can get them personalized. Now, this is a bit, it's, first of all, the workmanship, it's beautiful. The wood is beautiful. This is a very, very small bowl. So obviously the bigger the product, the more words you can get on. So this just says my name, Chef AJ. But it's just, it's very cute. You can put like, I, I don't always use your bowls for food, by the way. And I'm going to show you in a second with my favorite bowl. But you don't have to have a salad to, to love this product. That's but the cool one, thing. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. This one, I love, look what it says. Vegan since 1977. And this, I, this is what I use for my fruit bowl. Now, why is there no fruit in it? Because I'm going out of the country in less than 48 hours. So I'm not buying any fruit, but this is where I put my bananas. This is just, I just think this is the coolest bowl. And of course, everybody knows you for the big old chopping bowls. And this one says, grow up and eat your damn vegetables. That's so cool. So this is the bowl. Look at how big this is. <laughs> Either the yeah, so it's a 17 inch beach bowl. So a large chop, you know, chopping bowl served, you know, comfortably. You know, you can easily chop a pound of salad or if you're entertaining, served around 10 to 12 side salad. Right. E either the bowl's big or I'm little, but we have these potlucks every month. And there's this one lady, Maureen, who actually brings her bowl and, and then she'll chop it for, for us fresh. The cutting boards, I think, make a really wonderful gift. This one says, if you're not hungry enough to eat vegetables, you're not hungry. 
look at this. Isn't it beautiful? Both sides are actually, but I just love the personalization because it's so yeah. fun. But now I'm going to show you my favorite bowl and I don't even use it for food. I use it to hold my remote controls. And that is this heart shaped bowl. And I just have my name on it. This I think would be a fabulous wedding gift, an anniversary gift. And this comes in multiple sizes. But what I was saying to Corey, when I was talking to him, one of the reasons this is my favorite bowl is because for example, the chopping bowl, it doesn't sit out on the counter. It gets put away between uses. So does the cutting board. But I see this every day because it's in, I, I don't watch TV every day, just so you know, I don't even have regular TV, but I just love this bowl so much and it's so pretty. So that's my favorite bowl and uh, I'll let you take it away. Yeah, definitely. So as Chef AJ mentioned, the engraving. So we do that for free on all of our products. Uh, when you're on our website, all you need to do is click on one of the listings. If it's a nine inch bowl or larger, there'll be a text box to the right where you can auto automatically add the engraving. It's up to 55 characters for free. Um, so that's really nice. Gives it a cool personal touch, even if it's for yourself, you know, your family's name, the year, or a short little phrase, or perfect for weddings, anniversaries, special occasions. And then we can kind of go over a few things that we're doing with Chef AJ. So we have a special landing page that we created for Chef AJ. So if you are looking to order through um, Chef AJ, you would order through www.howlandbowlmill.com backslash Chef AJ, which I believe Chef AJ has posted in the show notes. And then we have a couple specials. We have one that if you spend $140 or more and your cart includes a chopping bowl, you uh, use the code Chef AJ at checkout and you get a free mezzaluna knife, which is a $30 value. Um, some people can get a little confused on that. So you'll see like a chopping bowl category. Those come with the knives. You want to stay away from those. All the bowls are exactly the same. They can be chopped in. You would be getting the knife for free. So you'd want to order just the bowl. Then use Chef AJ at checkout. And then a knife will populate to your cart. So you would have to order a 9-inch, 12-inch, 15-inch, 17-inch, or 20-inch to be able to get that free knife. So if you order like a fruit bowl or a heart bowl, you can't shop in those. So then the code wouldn't work. Um, we also are doing another special, 10% um, off your entire order by using the um, discount code KALE, K-A-L-E at checkout. And that will automatically take 10% off your order. And that's valid through July 5. Chef AJ's landing page will go over all of this in details, how to utilize the specials, kind of what we're doing in our partnership. It makes it pretty easy to order from. Um, our most popular items are that through the whole food plant-based community are the chopping bowl. Hey, Corey, I'm wondering, what's the most unusual thing you remember ever engraving on a bowl? Oh, I mean, cool story. We did um, gifts for the uh, presidents. Uh, President uh, Barack Obama, the Clinton family, and then uh, unfortunately the Trump family too in 2017. So that was pretty incredible. But we've engraved a lot of different weird things in the in the past. Um, but I don't have one at the top of my head that I can really think of. What really do I'm curious, what, is there a most common thing that people ask for engraving, like maybe the wedding date, the name of the bride and groom? Yeah, by far the most popular is just simple bride and groom's name, wedding date. Um, but for like, you know, people are getting a chopping bowl, a lot of times people will put, you know, Corey's chopping bowl, who, whole food plant-based since a certain year or their family's name or similar to kind of what you have. But you can get creative with it. You get up to 55 characters with spaces. Um, so you can really um, come up with something that's meaningful to you if it's going to be for yourself, too. Yeah, and I think that's the funnest part. Yeah, for sure. So here's an example of like the bride and groom's name and wedding day. Oh, that's coming up. Yeah. It was just a retail order from off our website that I quick snagged before it shipped. Hopefully that so, wedding goes through because that's not returnable. Yeah, Exactly. So chopping bowl, this is a 15 inch, which would be by far our number one seller. Easily chops, uh, you know, a pound of salad, uh, serves about six to eight side salads. 
uh, tends to work really, really well. Again, by far our most popular. The free mezzalunite you would get by ordering a 15 inch bowl is here. We include extensive care instructions how to use the knife. The key is you want to use a rocking. You don't want to just go up and down. You want to use a rocking motion when you're chopping. Uh, that makes it a lot easier to chop the salad. And then also you won't get as many markings in your bowl. Being a chopping bowl, over time, you are going to get some minimal staining and some marks. Um, if you weren't chopping it, you're just serving out of it. Obviously, that wouldn't happen. But it's more about you know the functionality of the piece. All of our products do come with a lifetime guarantee, including all of our chopping bowls. So if they ever crack from natural use, we'll send a free replacement, no questions asked. So it's kind of a heirloom piece that you can cherish, you know, your entire life and then pass down um, to another generation, which makes it cool. And then we have another popular chopping bowl is our smaller nine inch, which is perfect for chopping herbs. And then Chef AJ showed you her 17 inch bowl, which is also great for chopping. Do sell a mezzaluna knife holder. A knife is quite sharp. So a lot of people like having that holder just for safety. So it's gonna look like that. And people will leave it out on their counter or you can stick it in your drawer in the holder just uh, you know, for safety purposes. And that can be added on right on our website. And somebody told me you give tours in person. Is that correct? I met somebody that actually went on one. We do, yeah, all the time. So today's been quite busy with the holiday weekend upon us. We've probably done you know, 20 to 25 tours of groups coming into our showroom. Bless you. Thank um, you. <laughs> Sorry, you know, Susanna, who's watching live says, I because I put in the chat, does anybody have a Holland Bowl and do you, do you like it? And uh, people are saying, Linda, not yet. I love the heart one. But Susanna said that she actually gave one as a gift last Christmas, but she doesn't have one. She's got eight kids. So do you have anything bigger than 17 inch? Because that's a lot of chopping. We do. Yeah. The largest bowl we make is a 20 inch, which is the largest solid one piece bowl turned in the United States that serves comfortably 20 side salads or so. It's a stunning piece of art, really. But yeah, it's, it's incredible. And you'll be able to find that right on our website. Holly says you're 10 minutes from your, her house. Amazing facility, people, and products. Gina loves her bowl and her cover for her mezzaloon knife. You know, when you say you're in stores, I've personally never seen you your product in stores. Are Could you give me an example of what stores you might be in, especially if they're in California? Yeah, so our next market is kind of specialty kitchen stores. Um, so out in California, LA area, uh, Nikki K. Howe, uh, OK, which is going to be right down in Los Angeles. Room and Boards, one of our bigger partners. Uh, I'm not in LA. I don't know if you know, I don't live in LA. No, I know that. I'm just saying oh, California. Okay, because I live in Northern California. Are you in Kitchen Kitchen in, in Palm, yeah. in Indian yeah. Wells? Yeah, Kitchen Kitchen. I uh, used to teach there. That is the most fabulous store ever. Yeah. yeah. I, Leone, I think that's in Petaluma. I would have to get the list in front of me, but I know California, we have at least 30 stores or so throughout California that our products are carried. Um, Linda said, do you carry, is your product carried in any store in North Carolina? North Carolina? Um, I see she, if she messages us through our website, there's a messaging app and, and someone will go and answer. I'm sure there is. It's just hard sometimes to keep track of every single one. Um, but just have her send us an email or send us a message and then someone from our team will respond with any stores that we potentially have. I know we have one actually, if I think about it, in Asheville called East Fork Pottery. Um, and then I'm sure there's many more. Uh, which we can send over to her to her nice Laura Laura who's watching live says she loves her bowl she has two okay. nice do you have any new products Corey since the last time you've been on the show yeah we do definitely so so the cutting charcuterie board thing is so in so we have a new round board that's been extremely popular great thing about all of our boards are the reversibility aspect meaning you can utilize both sides. So you can exclusively cut on this side and then you can flip it over and you can serve on the other. Um, so it's very functional. 
Um, this one has been really popular. We released it like two to three months ago. Would that be personalized as well? Oh yeah, yep. And once you click on any of the listings, a cutting board or any of the bowls, nine inch and larger, they'll automatically be a text box to add your engraving. This is a double live edge cutting charcuterie board. Um, again, you can utilize both sides. This one is also one of our very popular ones. Lengthwise, it's 24 inches, width around 10. This is in walnut, so we do them in walnut, cherry. When it comes down to wood type, we work with only hardwoods. Again, all of our products come with a lifetime guarantee, so it really just comes down to aesthetics and kind of the look that you're drawn to. There's not a better wood than the other. So like uh, looking at the chopping bowls, it'll be cherry, it'll be maple, it'll be beech, right oak, walnut. You can't go wrong with any of them. Beech will be at the best price point and then walnut will be a little bit more expensive. Um, Chef AJ showed you her fruit bowl earlier. By far one of our best selling products, just aesthetically, just a really cool conversation piece, then also very functional you know, aerates the fruit and helps it um, stay fresh longer. We have a lot of new wooden utensils that we've done over the last couple of years from larger uh, ladles. And you also talk about the best way to care for your product. Yeah, so after each use, we're gonna wash with warm water and soap and then air dry. The key is you don't want standing water, just a little bit of water, a little bit of soap. And then after washing five to six times, eventually the wood's gonna dry out and then you wanna retreat it. We make a product in house called Bees Oil. Uh, I would say 90, 95% of people order through your, through some of our other whole food plant-based affiliates, they're comfortable using the Bees Oil. If you're not, you can always uh, mention in the customer note section that you prefer your products to not be treated with the bees oil. And then we will do that. And then they would just have to find an alternative um, way to treat their bowls. Walnut oil, coconut oil are two of the most popular that people will use. Oh, cool. That, you, mean, you mean like co 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 the coconut oil it is generally solid, right? At room temperature. So you would use it in the solid form? Yes. Yep. And just break it up a little bit. Yeah. But walnut oil is probably what I would uh, would recommend. We highly recommend our bees oil. It's going to penetrate the wood the deepest and help your bowl look better. Um, but again, if you're not comfortable using it, there are other things out there that you can use. Do you know anybody named Mega Woodworks? That's not ringing a bell, no. Because they say Corey is awesome. Well, they had wood in their in their in their Zoom name. Oh, nice. Marley says, any stores in Florida? Uh, Florida Florida's one state that we don't have many at all for some reason. You would think we would. Um, I'm sure we have a few at least. Um, but again, top of head, I can't, I can't name one. So if you message us, uh, we can definitely let you know where we do have some. Great. Uh, Sarah says you're not too far from her and wondered if she could come in the store and still use the discount that you're offering today. Yeah, definitely. Yep. So the store, uh, discounts are valid online and in store. We're open Monday through Friday and then Saturdays 10 to 4. And if you do come in, we do free tours from 9 to 3. No appointment needed. Just come on in and we'll show you around. You can get the free engraving also done right in our showroom. Only takes a couple minutes. So it was. You used to be a wooden shoe factory? We did, yeah. So my great grandfather started the original wooden shoe factory here in Holland in 1926, and then yeah. So wooden shoes is kind of really big here in the Holland area, but we were much more than that. We had a fudge shop, cheese shop, sold a ton of china. We had about 50 employees or so. Unfortunately, we had to close that down in the late 1990s, and then we concentrated more on the wooden bowls and wooden wear um, once we closed down the shoe. Uh, what's the busiest time for people buying bowls? Christmas? Yeah, for sure. Holiday season. So starting Black Friday uh, through December 15th is pretty insane. Um, it's fun. It's, it's definitely crazy. Wow. That's cool. This year is pretty busy too, in store especially. Holland's a 
huge tourist town. So we have people coming into Holland, the greater Lakeshore area. You know, daily we work with a lot of the you know, local visitors bureaus, um, which is a lot of fun. So we always have groups like today. We had one from Ohio, another one from Texas, another one from California, one from Indiana, one from Minneapolis. We're here in Holland kind of, you know, on vacation. So it's fun showing them around uh, what we do and then uh, them booking around our showroom. Why is it better to chop your salad in a bowl like like that you, I mean, I used to do it in, in a plastic bowl, I'm ashamed to admit, but I didn't always know about you, you know? Yeah, yeah, definitely. So yeah, our bowls are extremely um, popular for chopping. You're reducing the salad, you're um, getting all the flavors to come together, and a wooden bowl is just a great vessel for chopping and plastic. Yes. A lot of people are, are getting away from plastic in general. They were trying to use more sustainable, natural, you know, wood products. They come with a lifetime guarantee. Um, yeah, they're pretty amazing for uh, chopping salads. I mean, lifetime, has anyone, I mean, has anyone have, ever had to act on that lifetime guarantee? Oh, yeah, definitely. We've had people, a couple of days ago, we had someone email us who's had our bowl, got a bowl for a wedding gift 42 years ago. They use it daily and she woke up one morning and it was cracked she was heartbroken didn't know what to do sent us an email she took great care of her bowl we said hey don't worry about it we'll send you a free replacement you may dispose of your cracked bowl and uh yeah we just sent her a new one nice i just saw um when using the bees oil do you leave it sit for a while or wipe it out afterwards great. yeah great question you just want to take a lint-free cloth, take some of the bees oil, cover the entire piece, maybe let it sit for like five minutes at the most, and then wipe off the excess bees oil. Then it's ready to use. Some people think you have to wash it again. You can if you would like, but there, there really is no need. You can uh, use it right after, you know, treating. Great. I s oh, here's a great question. Are there some ingredients that you just shouldn't use in the bowl? Great question. So the one thing that we get emails about, you know, periodically are like strawberries, raspberries, the acidic once in a while from chopping will stain the bowls. Um, so I would stay away from that and not, if you want to utilize those, you can, but just don't chop them. Maybe add them after you're done chopping your salad. Besides that, no, you can use, you can put your salad dressing, your vinaigrettes, whatever you're using right in the bowl while you're chopping or add it afterwards. Um, but yeah, again, just raspberries, strawberries, those are really the only things that we ever um, have people reach out to us about. That's fantastic. Guys, have any questions? Just put it in the chat. Let's see. You do you have some plates too, right? Like the different yeah. plates? Yeah. So one of our newest products and my favorite, one of my favorites. And this is a 12 inch cherry plate. You literally can eat your dinner every single day off of this plate. Wash is extremely easy, folds up incredible. Some people use them like as chargers and different things too. Um, we release these about eight months ago or so, and they've been selling really, really well for us. And then we have a nine inch plate. So we do them in cherry and walnut. This would be more like a smaller dessert plate, appetizer plate. That's our four corner bowl. So if a bowl has like a defect or rim crack in it, we want to be able to utilize it. So we'll cut around that crack and make it into different shapes. So this is perfect for fruit or an accent piece. I've, on never, a seen, I've never seen that shape bowl. That's really yeah. cool. So these bowls wouldn't be for chopping. They would be more, again, fruit bowls, the centerpiece on a table. But aesthetically, it's just a really cool look. Chef AJ showed you the heart bowls earlier one of our most popular. So we'll have them from seven inch to 17 inch. The larger ones you can use for serving out of. We wouldn't recommend chopping, but you could have, you know, just having a few friends over. Some of the bigger ones will serve like around six side salads. I love that 12 inch plate. I've never seen that. That's very cool. 
we're always trying to come up with new ways to utilize all of our wood. So we even have trees that we do now. So these would be like on a mantle, you would display them. Um, just another way how we utilize all of our wood. We're trying to always come up with different ideas and products. What about a chess set? Not yet, maybe down the line. This is an oblong, live edge bowl. This, so this is a 17 inch, so comfortably serves 10 side sales or so. Again, wouldn't recommend chopping. The chopping bowls by far are gonna be uh, the most popular would be the traditional round. But this that, one is That is cool. beautiful though. I could use that as a fruit bowl. That's pretty yeah, cool. Really beautiful. We are now making rolling pens. So uh, this is a French rolling pen. We also have a shaker style too. This is maple. The ro uh, French uh, rolling pen and maple. Can that be personalized even though it's round? Yeah, we've done them before, like on the end, someone like right here, they'll put their name or the year, something short and sweet. We can easily do that. You know, uh, Donna would like to know if mineral oil can be used to treat the wood items. It can, yeah, definitely. So we dip all of our products in food safe mineral oil, and then from there we treat them with the bees oil. So mineral oil works very well. Oh, um, Elizabeth wanted to know, by any chance, do you have square plates in addition to round plates? As of now, no, uh, potentially down the line. If you do visit our website, you can always sign up for our newsletter and we'll keep you informed anytime we have new product release. But that is something that we potentially might do at some point. Our nine inch four corner bowl is very small and somewhat shallow. Some people will use that as a dinner plate. So that would be the one thing that you could potentially do. Nice. Do you ship outside of the United States? We do, yeah, all the time to Canada, but we ship. I mean, we get orders to Australia. Recently, just shipped one to New Zealand, pretty much anywhere. Our website will automatically calculate uh, shipping costs at checkout. You can also pay for the taxes and duties right up front on the website, which is really nice. So you know exactly what you're paying, and then you don't get hit with those taxes once the product you know, arrives to the country. Nice. Well, Susanna, you're in Canada. You can order. He says they'll deliver. Yeah. And guys, yes, where there's a discussion in the chat, Corey mentioned, we know that uh, beeswax isn't vegan, which is why he's giving you alternatives. If you order, you just tell them not to treat it with that. And then you can get mineral oil or coconut oil to treat your wood. Um, Marley says, do we choose how the wood looks in the bowl Do we purchase that we purchase or is it a surprise? Great question. So sometimes can be a surprise or you'll see like say you're looking at walnut a lot of walnuts going to be all dark and then the next listing you might look at is going to have what's called sap wood so it's kind of variegated two-tone during checkout there's a customer note section you can always mention hey i really prefer the all dark look or i prefer the two-tone look and then we'll pull a bowl to uh you know based on your notes so yeah just give us some information on what you're looking for and my team does an amazing job of following those notes and uh, pulling a bowl, a bowl based on kind of what you requested. Yeah. And that customer note section will be uh, when you're entering billing and shipping information. And then we do offer free shipping too. If your order is $100 or more, then that will automatically you know, be added, uh, which is also a nice little part. And then one other thing I did want to mention, if you use the 10% code um, KALE, your order is going to, if it is under 140 after the code, you would have to add another product to get it back to 140 to be able to get that free knife. So the, this, the knife only works, I mean, excuse me, the uh, free knife is only works if your cart is $140 or more. Thanks. What kind of wood is this uh, from my favorite bowl? And I imagine that this is the same kind of wood, right? Those both are beach. I think that's my favorite. I think I like the light. Yeah, each is great. Yeah, it's uh, yeah. at the best price point. One of our most popular. Cherry would probably be our number one seller. Just aesthetically has really cool kind of intricate grain patterns. But each person's kind of a little different in what they're drawn to. That's a cool thing about what um, in our products in general is uh, you really can't go wrong with any of them. Well, I love that bowl that you showed me that I said I could use as a fruit bowl because it kind of was yeah. two-toned. 
Yeah. Um, here's some questions. Well, first, a comment from Plant Powered Certified Nutrition Coach. I love my Holland Bowl, best ever for chopping salads. And Sarah says, do people ever bring in their own wood to have it manufactured? We have cut down oak trees on our property in the past and wondered if we could brought in bring in a piece to have a bowl made. So we don't, <laughs> we don't take like small chunks. We used to do that. And then the word got out and you'd get calls daily. Hey, can I bring in a one foot chunk of oak, one foot chunk of cherry? And then it really slowed down our, uh, our production. But if it's a tree that we would typically buy, so say you have an oak tree going down, the specs would have to be eight to 14 feet in length, at least 16 inches in diameter. Then we would buy the tree off you and then we can um, make all the product out of it that we can. Then we mark it during the drying process. And then you would come in, take a look at all the product that we made out of it. And then you could buy some of that back. We do that all the time with local homeowners, uh, local colleges. Uh, local parks and recs. Um, so it's kind of a cool thing. And the sentimental factor from coming off your property is uh, really fun. So if you did have something, just give us a call or shoot us an email and that would kind of start the process. Thank you. Uh, Stacy wants to know, what is the lowest cost of a 17 inch bowl? Do you know off the top of your head? Yeah. So beach would be the best price point. So uh, 225 and then Minus that 10%, so 20250 or something right around there. 15 inch bowls, beach would be the best price, which is 140. Cherries are number one seller, which is 165. And that's just for the bowl. There's also bowl sets. Um, some people like having like the smaller seven inch bowls. Having some peep friends over, these would be like your side salad bowls. So there's sets, which would include a 15 inch bowl, uh, four sevens, utensils, and a free eight ounce bees oil. And those automatically have 10% off, off them. Plus you get an extra 10% by using the code kale. Thank you. Uh, Susanna says she's gonna order one for his son and, her, and his fiance for their wedding shower. That's a lovely gift. <laughs> And I did want to mention too quickly, uh, free shipping orders. We are quite busy, you know, being in the midst of wedding season. They're going out in like 10 to 14 business days. We're doing our best to get them out much sooner. But if you did need something right away, there are expedited uh, shipping options at checkout. Nice. Let's see. For the questions. Oh. Hey, da, 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 da. well, I love your products. They're beautiful. I haven't really seen any other products like that anywhere. Thank you. Appreciate it. How often do you come up with new products? We're always coming up with new products. So we just released in store new, like what we're calling air plant holders. We just did a taco board. We're coming up with some candles that are actually going to be in our bowls. Um, so typically what we do is we get a new product, we release it in the showroom first. And then from there, depending on how it's doing, if we feel like it's something that is going to sell well online, and then we would get photography done and get it up on our website. We just had a big photo shoot. So we'll have five to six new products added to our website probably in the next month or two. Yep. Susanna says she couldn't believe how gorgeous it was when she opened the box. And Elizabeth says customer service is superb. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah. How fun. Is it noisy in your mill? It can be. Yeah. Uh, so where we are kind of where I am right now is not in the very noisy part, but I'm back in production area, it can get a, a little loud, but it's, it's really not that bad. Um, again, we bring tour, you know, people back there all the time for tours. Um, so yeah. Yeah. Linda says she's interested in the place in the heart, heart shape bowl. We have two of my favorite items too, Linda, who makes this stuff, Corey? Like, like, I, I mean, what is, what is, what are they called? Yeah. So we have 24 employees, uh, in production, we have seven in the bowl making and utensils. So in the main production five. So Gary, he helps load up all the logs. He does what we call power washing. So we're getting trees, you know, from someone's, you know, yard or from forest. So they have to be cleaned off and power washed. Then from there, they're cut into smaller sections. And then uh, Bob 
runs the rip saw, where he's cutting the actual bowl blanks. And then we have three main turners, meaning they're running the lathes and making the bowls. That would be Mark, Michael, and Christian. If you go on our website too, there's going to be a like about us page, and we are featured on a show called How It's Made on the Discovery and Science Channel. It filmed here in 2007. You can watch that video of our whole bowl making process. Maybe you, could give me, maybe you could give me a link. If there's a link, I'd love to put that in the show notes. Yeah. I think that's, that's fascinating. Yeah, so it's pretty cool. I'll give you a little insight into kind of how we do things. That's what, so how did, did they have to be trained? Like, I mean, like, how do they know how to do it? That sounds pretty. Yeah, so, I mean, they have to kind of have a, somewhat of a woodworking background, but typically we get an employee in, they'll start kind of in the simpler parts of the company. If they're in production, they'll start doing the power washing, cutting logs learning the ins and outs of our company, how we do it, and then slowly they'll move up if they're capable. But there's a, a extensive training that goes into it. Um, so we tend to, have, tend to have really good retainment because if we don't, then we're just retraining people. Um, so we kind of treat our employees like family, kind of a fun, fun nice. work atmosphere. Nice. Uh, uh, Connie says, can you show the taco board? I can, yeah. Let me go grab one. That sounds like fun. What are your favorites? Put it in the chat. I, I've never seen the 12 inch plate before. That would be very cool actually. But like I say, I have this right over there in what's called the great room. So I walk by this hundred times a day and see this and I have my remote controls for it to right. never watch. So Ooh. here would be the taco board. It holds eight hard shells. It's amazing. We just got photography done of this. It's gonna be online on that next product release, but you can always call us and order, you know, the taco board or different items that might not be online. So this has been extremely popular in store. Everyone loves Taco Tuesday and just kind of a unique, fun product. So the taco would go one, you know, in between each pegs, holds eight tacos. You know, it almost looks like you could hang it up and I could hang all my hats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you've got a hole where you can hang it too. That's very cool. Jesse yep. says, well, Jesse wants to know what's the best way to keep the mezzaloon knife sharp? So the knife comes extremely sharp. So you do not have to sharpen it often. Most knife sharpeners will work. The best one on the market is called AccuSharp, A-C-C-U, sharp. You just Google that. They sell them on Amazon, Walmart, really anywhere. I think they're $8.95. It's a handheld knife sharpener. They're amazing. That's what I use and like what we use at the mill. So again, AccuSharp, A-C-C-U, Sharp. You can get that Amazon, Wall, any of the big box brand stores. Great. Um, Marley says, do you take special orders? I, maybe for, th I'm thinking maybe she's thinking things you don't have. We do if it's within our tooling or something we can do, especially with like the cutting charcuterie boards. If there's a certain size you're looking for. We can do that. Then we do a lot of custom engraving. Someone might want like a wedding invitation engraved on the inside or, you know, a special logo or, you know, a Bible verse. We can easily do that too. There is a cost associated with the inside engraving. It's quite time consuming, but just shoot us an email or message us through the messaging app and uh, we'll take a look at it. And then from there, uh, provide a quote. Or if you're looking for a custom piece, just uh, give us a call or email us and if it's something we can do, then we'll definitely accommodate your request. Are there any products you didn't show us? Oh, let's see. I mean, there's a lot more different wood types of stuff that I didn't show. There's a lot more utensils. There's a smaller, what we call our pantry board. So these are great, like even smaller ones for, you know, cutting apples, oranges, limes, uh, Lots of people call them like bar boards, um, good price point. Or these are cool, like in your kitchen, if you have a backdrop, people will display it and then pull it out, you know, when they need to use that. I didn't even realize you were supposed to sharpen your mezzaloon, guys. All you guys have been sharpening it all these years? I haven't. Uh-oh. How do you know if it's needs it's sharpening? I mean, the, that's a good thing about the knife. It's dictated on use. I mean, some of you know, your followers are sure are chopping a salad literally every single day, then yes, you would have to sharpen it, you know, periodically. But 
you don't have to sharpen it that often. Thank you, AccuSharp. Cool. Well, this is fun. I'd love to see your factory sometime. Yeah. Do you have to call in advance for a tour or you just show up? You do not. Nope. So we're just doing them as groups come in. Again, from 9 to 12, 1230 to 3, uh, no appointment needed. Once you come in, we'll kind of go over a couple of things. We show that uh, how it's made video from the Discovery and Science channel. Then from there, one of our tour guides will take you through the whole factory, show you the whole process. And then you can you know, look around our uh, store afterwards. And then we are open Saturdays, 10 to 4. We just don't have the full team here. That sounds like fun. Mona says, can the cutting boards have engraving? Yep. Yep, they can. So the one Chef AJ is showing you is our 18 by 12 single live edge board. Reversible, meaning you can cut on one side, serve on the other. That one's $85, plus you get the 10% discount. Um, one of our best sellers. And what kind of wood is this one? That one's cherry. Nice. And, and we're still supposed to treat these every so often, right? You are. So, yep, uh, it's kind of same as the bowls after washing five to six times. That's when you would want to retreat it. Thank you. Uh, I saw a question. Oh, here's one from Linda. How much do the cutting boards weigh? Because she really doesn't like heavy ones. They're not that heavy. For example, Chef AJ's 18 by 12 cherry board. Cherry's a little bit lighter than walnut. I would say weighs two pounds or so it's so our thickness is all on those is uh three-fourths of an inch so ours aren't really bulky thick boards but they're amazing for you know cutting every single day serving on they hold up really really well and kind of stand the test of time great well Corey, thank you and let me know anytime you have new products because they're very cool say yeah. again what that bowl was that i really liked that looked like yeah. that I, I, that one I never saw. And also, you also showed another unusual one at the beginning. Yeah, so this saw. is uh, the Live Edge Bowl. So there'll be, if you hover over wooden bowls, you'll see the Live Edge category. This is a 17-inch walnut. Again, this wouldn't be ideal for chopping, but perfect as the salad bowl, fruit bowl, accent piece, if you have like a big dining room table. Uh, very popular. Very actually, popular. I actually do have a big dining room table. It's yeah. one of those bench ones that seats uh, like 14. That would be very cool. Maybe I'll send you something in the mail, Chef AJ. <laughs> Just, and what, what's that one inch, called? So this is our 15-inch four corners bowl. So again, great as a fruit bowl, smaller uh, serving bowl. It's kind of a unique, cool shape to it. That's just really beautiful. Now, I do want to just mention one more time, make sure when you do, if you are going to order through us, use Chef AJ's link um, so you get, get those specials because they're only active uh, through ordering from Chef AJ. And then the 10% code KALE is active till July 5. And then the free knife is 140 or more and everything will be explained on her landing page. Great. Well, thanks, Corey. I appreciate yeah. that. And thank you all for watching. And go to the Holland Bowl Mill if you're ever in Holland. What what, what city is Holland, Michigan near? Uh, the biggest city by us would be Grand Rapids. So we're about 30 minutes from GR or so. Okay. Deb wants to know, if you don't use them often, do they dry out? Depending on where you live. Um, but no. I mean, like a fruit bowl, I might retreat my fruit bowl once a year because you're not really washing it. So there's not a need to retreat them. Or if you're using a bowl as an accent piece, maybe once a year at the most, or you can even wipe it with a damp cloth, but you're only retreating them based on how often you're washing them. They're not really just going to dry out from, you know, sitting on your table or as a display piece. Right. Thank you. Thank you for your passion. I love that you love what you do. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Do you have any kids and are they going to be the fifth generation? We'll see. I have three. So Rowan, uh, who's going to be four at the end of August. And then I have twins, Davey and Dawson, who are going to be two at the beginning of August. So we got a, a crazy household. Keeps That's us incredible. So all, all boys? All boys, yep. Wow. So, wow. That'd be, that's interesting. How often do you oil the cutting boards? So, like, I guess it depends how often you wash it. 
Exactly. So same as the bowls, we include extensive care instructions too that will go over how to treat your products, how often you need to do it. But I would recommend after washing four to five times, that's when you would retreat it. And you right. can kind of tell too, the wood's just going to look dry. Um, it's, it's, it's pretty easy. And, and since I'm not ever using this for food, I don't have to wash it, right? Because nope. it's, or, or treat it, right? Because it's. Exactly. I mean, maybe after three years or so, you might look at it and be like, oh, it looks a little dry, but typically, no, you would not have to it, retreat it. Looks it looks perfect. It, it looks great. It. Yeah. I, I, I'm not going to, I love that. Uh, thank you for the info and the discounts and happy birthday to the twins, says Marley. Thank you. Oh, right. Uh, I don't use cutting boards, just a decoration. Yeah. I mean, you, you could, you can have a cutting board without using it for cutting, you know, I mean, I've seen people, you just put it out there. and yeah, a cutting you, board could be a charcuterie board too. I mean, right. You don't have to have the round shape necessarily. Yeah. The very thing again is the reversible. So you can use it as a cutting charcuterie or just use as a charcuterie, but definitely a lot of people, that's kind of a really in look right now. If you look like in the kitchen magazines and different things, People stage cutting boards and their backsplash. Um, so yeah, they can be used or be a, you know, a deco piece within your home. Absolutely. Well, great. Well, thanks, Corey. And hey, you uh, know, I, mean, I was going to say, if Christmas is your biggest time, we should probably do a show then, but you probably don't so, offer, I'm guessing you probably don't offer specials at, around Christmas. We do. We definitely do. Yeah. We can look to do something in you know November. I would love that. Yeah, or Black Friday, that'd be great. Yeah. How long has the company been in business, asks Di, asks Donna. So the company started in 1906. It was started by uh, the Fuller family in Muskegon, which is about 45 minutes north of Holland. Then my great-grandfather started the original wooden shoe factory in 1926. We sold their wooden bowls throughout our different shops. And then in the 1980s, we acquired the bowl mill um, from the Fuller family. Nice. Well, it sounds like it's going to be in your family for a long time. We're hoping so. That's the goal. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, are, I mean, not the, are there even other people that do this? I, I'm not even aware. I'm, yeah, I'm not, not, we're blessed in that sense. There isn't really commercially much competition. There's uh, one in Vermont, Andrew Pierce Wooden Bowls, which is a kind of a startup. They're like extremely high end like they're our 15 inch bowls range from 140 to 195 his range from 300 to 450 so it's like yeah so we don't a, compete against us, them yeah. too, too often and they're yeah. smaller you know like hobbyists but not you know on a commercial sense where they're making products every day yeah um donna says do you ever make wooden shoes we don't anymore no we did for many of years. Uh, there's a company locally in Holland, Valdeers, that still does, or Dutch Village, but we don't here at the Bull Mill. But people don't really wear those, right? I mean, they sound like they'd be very uncomfortable. Yeah, I wear a lot of socks. Yeah. You don't make wooden teeth either, probably, right? No, no. Yeah, yeah. great. Okay. Well, thanks, Corey. And I uh, hope you like the products and please be sure if you ordered order through that link so that you can get your discount in your free mezzaloon and thanks all of you for watching another episode of chef aj live please come back tomorrow when dr john scharfenberg who is nearly a hundred years old will be talking about diet drugs and alcohol take care bye Corey. thanks so much yeah